Our team is keeping a close eye on conditions across Hampton Roads from the gusty winds to the rain and possible flooding. Allison Basil is driving through Windsor now in our storm mode vehicle. Allison, how is it looking where you are? Yes, hey Nicole, so we started in Norfolk actually about an hour and a half ago, then we went on to Suffolk and now we're driving through Windsor and as we've driven further, the rain has definitely gotten a lot heavier and the visibility has decreased and I'm going to give you a look at what we're seeing now on our storm mode camera over the last two days Hampton Roads Public Works crews haven't stopped cleaning drains and ditches so that any amount of rain we get today has somewhere to go. A team of volunteers in Norfolk also made sure people staying outside at a temporary homeless shelter downtown had a place to ride out the storm. As Elsa rolls by, tents at Norfolk's temporary homeless shelter will stay put. It's awesome to see everybody kind of come together, galvanize to make sure this can continue to be a thing and that it doesn't blow away. All morning, volunteers secured and covered supplies to keep everything dry. Urban Renewal Center Director Jordan Brown says 80 people were relocated to the Norfolk Scope. We have some very special folks here and I'm just uh, I'm honored to be able to serve them. The shelter opened in May at the former Greyhound bus station. Tents are set up in the gated parking lot, so city officials are taking extra precautions for the storm. It's going to be a lot of wind, a lot of rain. I want to make sure everybody stays safe and dry tonight. Over the last few months, the shelter has created a sense of community. Uh, the last thing that we want them to feel like is that this is just a shelter. Uh, something that they come to and, and, and exist. Brown hopes more volunteers will help him keep this safe space open for the people who need it. Where they have the opportunity to just rest, uh, revitalize, and then do what they do uh, while we have security, while we have staff, and while we have people that are here to keep it clean. And while you are out driving around tonight, if you see any hazards on the road, VDOT officials want you to let them know by calling 1-800-FOR-ROAD. Back to you guys. All right, thanks, Allison. The storm could create problems if you're driving out there, so remember to take it slow. VDOT reminds you to slow down, watch for warning signs, and if you see flooded streets, turn around.